All right, what's going on today, YouTube? Welcome back to your favorite cyclist YouTube channel. This week, we're doing something a little different, kind of the same. We're assembling probably the cheapest hitch bike rack you can buy, and we're gonna test it out, see if it actually works. But before we get into today's video, if you are new to my channel, make sure you head down below, hit the subscribe button. If you already are subscribed, make sure that little bell icon right next to that is checked off. That way you get notified every time I upload. That way you don't miss any of these awesome cycling content we have on this channel. On to the video. Like I said, we are assembling probably the cheapest bike hitch rack you can buy as of today. And uh, the rack we are building, and you kind of see the top of it there. This is the Hallmaster two bike rack from our good old buddies at Harbor Freight. And um, yeah, we're gonna assemble this. And you might be going, why do you need another bike rack? You have a bike rack already. Well, pretty much with the way gas prices are, that's a two inch hitch receiver bike rack. This one here can do an inch and a quarter, which is what I have on my other cars. So this bike rack we used on my other cars where I'll be able to save a little bit of gas and go riding a lot farther distances than with my truck. So that's what we're working on this year. So let's get, go ahead get you guys right on my head and we will start assembling this see what we need to do and see how this actually works all right so oh we got our nice hallmaster two bike rack here one thing i can say is i didn't see anywhere on this rack that says what you need to install it so go ahead open this up it does look like it is all in pieces of course kind of makes sense that is your i think that's the post that's going to go up and down right there down there what else we got in here okay there's one of the arms right there and let's see what else we got in this box oh let's see take that out there we go what we got here okay so here's the hitch portion here okay cool how does oh it's just screwed on okay interesting Okay, one thing I do like about this one is if you can see right in there, that is all threaded all the way through. So that should make a difference in it rattling quite a bit. The other one I have, that one there, it's only threaded right at the end as so the nut kind of welded on the inside. So we'll see if that makes a bit of a difference. And it looks like this here would be able to butt up against it too and keep the rack itself from wobbling. I don't know. I mean, I'm just making theories here. I don't know what this rack looks like other than the pictures in the box and I don't know how it all works. All right, there's our other arm there. That rotates a lot. Oh, maybe it's supposed to be. Okay, cool, there's that. Hey, there's our instructions at the bottom of the box. There's our hardware. Yeah. There we go. Instructions, anything else? Uh, nope, that looks like it. All right. Our box over there. I'm got in here. Oh, interesting. Okay. So it uses a bolt through pin, and it has, it has a bolt for the pin, and it has a normal little hitch pin on the end. Huh. Okay. That's different, but okay. I'm okay with that. We can give that a shot. Cool. So let's uh, take a look. See if there's any kind of instructions or anything on how to actually assemble this thing. Looking at our hardware. That out here. So this is for securing the hitch to the vehicle. So is our pin. So is this washer. And so is this washer too. Okay, so that's all for, all for securing it to the vehicle. So I don't need those right now. Which then leaves us with three bolts, which are same length? They're the same length. Awesome. Makes it easy. They just all go in. We're going to go ahead, get this. And of course, we're just going to put everything in hand tight. That way we can make sure everything's in the right place, of course. So we're going to throw that bolt through there. All right. So I'm going to throw this. And the nice thing, there are nylock nuts. So you shouldn't have to worry about them coming loose. It's always a nice thing when it's on the back of your vehicle. Cool. Go ahead. Put our little pin here. This one goes through here, through this hole. Maybe, there it goes. Okay, that one goes through there. So here's the basics of it. And then for these, I'm gonna take the nut off. 
Oh, this one's a lot easier to install than the than the other one I have, that's for sure. That one's kind of a complicated endeavor to get completely, completely together. It came all in pieces. So I'll go ahead, send those through there. Okay. And then we get our other arm. Yeah, if I can, there we go. And your other arm, we'll put our other arm right there. And we'll get our nuts, tighten these on. There we are. Okay, so there's our hitch all we'll put together. So, say this is the hitch right here. You're secured, so you should be able to pull this pin out. And your rack will drop like that. Just like our other one does, just to get out of the way that we have full access to the back of your car all the time, which is actually really nice. So we can put this back up. So there is the rack all assembled. That was actually pretty simple, three bolts. Three bolts, three bolts, yeah, three bolts, and then that tighten up. Uh, it does use straps on here to secure your bikes. I mean, I'm, it's fine. I mean, they're, your bike realistically shouldn't move too much on here. If you're using one of these racks, you always make sure you use the inside most one if you're just carrying one bike. Or as close to the vehicle, close to center gravity, yada, 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 yada. Oh, and we got our little reflectors on the end here. So we gotta pull our little film off here. Let's see. All right. So this rack, it does come with, as you can see, it kind of has this little adapter on the end. So this is to make it so it's a two inch receiver. So you can use this with like a truck or a full size SUV or anything with a two inch hitch pretty much. You can use this and it would work just fine. For my purposes, it's going on an inch and a quarter. I'm not putting it on a two inch. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work essentially. So guys, if we look at my old one here, or my, the OG one here, you can see that looking at how that goes, this one, the new one, is actually a little shorter. You can see that hitch pin is right there on the old one. And that hitch pin is actually farther in, which means this rack is going to be sucked in. The big deal with this rack was that it hits my spare tire on my truck. So that's why I have the hitch extender. So this rack isn't even going to work in my truck, which is fine because it's not for my truck in the first place. This rack is for my car. So we can see here, it looks like this have a screw holding that adapter on. So we'll roll over here, grab a screwdriver. See how tight they put this screw. Oh, it's not that bad, okay. Okay. Get this all unscrewed to see how this all works. Okay, they just screw into it, okay. So they just screw into each other, it looks like. I mean, ultimately, it's kind of a cool little, cool little design. See how that works, just like clamshells around it. Cool, so there we go. Rack is a complete let's go out to the car and uh we'll, we'll get this installed and show you how it's installed and then we'll throw a bike on and see if the bike see if we can actually hold the bike or not on the rack side of the mustang here that's what we're putting the hitch on today sorry about the wind noise again of course if it's windy the day i go to uh decide to work outside so got this in here so pretty much all we're gonna do got an inch and a quarter receiver so we're just gonna slide our guy in right there in there and then we got our hitch pin bolt here and this is a 19 millimeter on here so big boy so you have a 19 millimeter socket or a big adjustable wrench and we're going to go ahead and we'll just start that in there just like so and i'm just going to screw it all the way through it's actually not like oh i forgot something before you screw it in you have a washer and a lock washer, so make sure you throw those on. Those are gonna help keep it in place. Because again, there's no nut on the other side, so this is how you keep it in place. So lock washer, regular washer. There we go. Now we'll throw it on. Then you get your hitch pin, which is essentially just security on here. And you're just going to push that right up there. That's kind of a sucky hitch pin. That's so big for what it needs to be. Let me, uh, I think I have a smaller one. 
that might work a little better. I took a rattle one, it's gonna drive me nuts. So let me get a smaller hitch pin for this. Sounds my happy with the itty bitty hitch pin. Should work perfect. Tried a couple, this one should be just small enough to hug that nice and tight and not rattle around everywhere and drive me absolutely nuts. So there's our rack. So I mean, looking at this, so that has a hundred pound weight, Ryan. So I mean, doing that, yeah, it's gonna bend, it's gonna pull the rack because I weigh more than a hundred pounds. But that is supposedly tight. I mean, yeah, I might move some. It's up and down though. It doesn't like rock side to side very much. So I can dig that. Let's, uh, let's grab a bike and we'll throw it on the rack and see how it does there. The Kusalaki bike. Road bike's one goes down, road bike's one going on here. So, pretty much just got these straps, so make sure the straps are out of the way. These you don't necessarily need, because I'm just doing one bike. So we're gonna put those kind of angled towards the inside there. And we're just gonna get a road bike, we're just gonna lift it right on here. Again, make sure these straps are out of the way. There we go. Don't get the cable caught. There we go. Okay. So, we got that all set. We're going to go ahead and feed our strap through here. And I'll pull it tight. And I'll do the same for the back one and make sure these are up and down. That way they hold it the best they can. better than this one is the other one has the extra mount here that can mount up against your frame you know against the what do you call it the seat tube therefore it holds the bike from doing this so that's one thing I do kind of miss on this rack however looking at it looks like it has a spot for maybe a lock to go through down there it does wobble a little bit small little truck I got from our other rack. They, they came with these nice straps here. Same kind of thing is held here, but these straps are great for throwing through your wheels, around the rack, and then back through the other wheel. And then, go ahead down, we'll kind of do it down here. And then you can cinch it up right here. Oops, all twisted. Goodness, there we go. So you can just do that, cinch it up right there there we go and then you can cinch that up there and that will keep the handlebars from going sideways and hitting your car which is one big thing well that's gonna hit the car still but you get my picture Side up a little more but it's gonna keep the wheels from spinning which is a big thing and then relatively keep your handlebars straight so your handlebars aren't gonna hit them that's one thing i saw with this my handlebar the brake lever on my road bike will hit the spoiler so keep that in mind Another thing to keep in mind, if you have a Mustang or a car with exhaust that comes straight out the back, my exhaust pipe would have been right here, which would have melted my rear tire. So, just a thought, this one's pretty dang close on the road bike. So this is a thought, if you have exhaust pipe sticking out the back, that might be something you run into. Other than that, this is pretty well set up here. I kinda wanna go take it for a little cruise and see if, uh, see if it falls off or whatever. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's hop in the car, go for a little cruise, and see if we lose the bike or not. So that's our setup for our bike rack for this year. I am super excited to use this. It works way better than the two inch. That's also again, my fault. My fault with the setup I have in my truck. But this works really, really well. If you guys are interested in checking out a rack like this, I will have a link in the description down below. Check them out there. They work great for especially how much it costs. 
this rack, this bike rack is awesome. Again, I'll be doing periodic reviews of this rack as I, as the year goes by. That way, you guys can see it in use and see how it's actually lasting me. But as of right now, I am excited to ride this. I am super happy with how this turned out and how it looks on the car. So if you guys did like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Appreciate the support. Any comments or questions, let me know down in the comment section below. I love chatting with you guys. Love answering any questions you guys have. And we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching today. Thank you.